How do we successfully gamify exercise? Research shows us that gamification can have real impact in not only helping people begin an exercise regime, but also as a key component in making the exercise regime work in the long run. I've written previously about the effective measures the US Army had in creating ongoing positive change in its recruit training programs by building or creating a community to steer people towards better fitness goals. But these moves, although successful, weren't gamified, and the programs were not widely accessible. Today, I want to briefly discuss one successful method research shows us can affect community involvement through gamification. Research at Cardiff Metropolitan University School of Sport and Health Services by Mark Ashley Harris shows the positive outcome of engaging gamification, but it also highlights the need for community. Harris shows the need for multiple elements of game-like experience to cover the user's needs, intrinsic versus extrinsic gameplay, different reward structures depending on type of player, and what stands out most was the sense of belonging in a community. Like Training Pepper, the very loyal border collie of my daughter, she needs the correct input, the right game-playing elements to entice her to do the right thing, which she doesn't always get right, but she really tries. In creating a reward structure which meets the needs of the user, we can clearly get great results. Sometimes the wheels fall off the cart, but mostly it just works. And when the wheels have fallen off, it's oftentimes the training, not the user. Personally, I follow with interest my results using the Samsung Health application, which is gamified, and the Strava workout tracking over the last couple of months, but neither have worked for me. I have seen positive results myself using Habitica to plan out my fitness regime, and having a community of fellow students joining me on quests and taking part in Habitica, although a very small community, has kept my interest going in using the platform. Now, the harder task, how can we gamify Matilda's exercise? We know the research shows that more positive exercise in pre-adolescence, the better ongoing results adolescents will have in health and fitness. Now in Matilda's weekly dance class, there's obvious rewards. She gets a sticker at the end of class. Every year there's an end of year show which she enjoys taking part of. But most importantly for Matilda, there's a community her friends in class, her teacher, the wider dance school, all working towards a common goal, just sharing their love of dance. As you can plainly see, she loves dancing and really likes games. So gamifying a dance application wasn't a hard choice for a great fill-in between homeschool work. Further research into community-orientated gamification was done in 2017 by Paul Barrett using Strava to compare cycle routes in a cycling club. The various members all started logging their rides via Strava and kept detailed online logs of their performance via the application. This work really pointed to the community application of gamification. All the cyclists already took part in competitions, training and workouts, but the gamification elements really pushed it to the next level. For most people, we can see the real importance of building tangible community and the effect this has on performance outcomes, especially in exercise. Gamification can really help, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution.